BAE Systems and EADS merger was always problematic from the start. As soon as it was announced on the 12th of September that both company, companies were in discussion, it became clear that they had to get uh, the proposal through both governments and their corporate backers. And that's incredibly complex within the defence space. Our understanding at the moment is that uh, as part of the deal, both negotiating teams wanted uh, state holdings within the new company to be limited at about 9%. It became fairly clear that the Germans especially wanted to have a significantly larger holding than that to uh, take account of uh, the investments that they made in the ADS over the years. So when the Germans were talking about a holding of 125 to 13.5%, the French started to follow suit and that just made it rather impossible for the negotiating teams to take that to the Americans. I suppose if we were thinking about who has lost most, the case could be made that uh, the notion of Europe as a defence bloc is probably the uh, largest loser here. If the two companies had merged, we would have had a proper global civil aerospace and defence business, a real bulk that could have competed with Boeing. On revenues, it would have been larger than Boeing. On capitation, it would have been very close to Boeing. So we would have had a scenario whereby we had a European-based global trader and a US-based global trader, which for many people would have been very good for competition and for innovation, especially within a defence market that has decreasing spends over the next five to ten years. In the short term, we're expected to believe that both EADS and BA Systems will go back and adopt the strategies that they were holding on the 12th of September. Uh, in, in the case of BA Systems, that simply is managing uh, zero growth over the short to mid-term. Uh, that's fine. The order book is reasonably robust. But markets actually rest on growth, and they're driven by growth. So long-term, investors will want to see BAE's plan for growing in a very difficult global market. EADS, slightly more nuanced in that, once more, their order book is strong, but they were hoping to generate uh, greater maintenance, repair, and overhaul capabilities through their tie-up with BAE Systems. So without the merger, that is still a shortfall in their portfolio that potentially they'll look to make good. The United States response is remarkably interesting though complex. For some people in uh, Washington and the West Coast, uh, having a direct uh, European rival to Boeing on the global stage was not seen as necessarily desirable for very narrow, selfish, corporate and national reasons, but those are understood. For others though, the sense that Europe was able to come together and generate a global player was seen as proof that Europe could properly burden share with the United States in the global national, national security space. Uh, I think, on balance, a lot of uh, key decision makers in the US will be concerned that Europe couldn't pull this off. The interesting point from the UK's perspective is the UK policy under the coalition government has been pretty much hands-off the defence industrial space. Indeed, the uh, previous Minister for Defence uh, Acquisition couldn't even bring himself to use the phrase uh, defence industrial base, a fairly common expression actually on both sides of the Atlantic. I think it's interesting now that the future of the UK's largest defence business in part has been settled in Berlin rather than in London. And what that means for all of us will take some thinking through. It's very difficult in part to uh, see this episode as a contribution towards the UK's defence industrial strategy simply because analysts have difficulty understanding what it is and what it represents. I think what is really interesting is that whether we like it or not, 
governments still have a very, very clear uh, role to play in sponsoring and regulating the defence industrial space. And that becomes very clear now. If we don't work that space sensibly within London, then others will do it on our behalf.